Sudan's top general says he ousted the government of Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok to avoid civil war. Abdel Fattah al-Burhan defended the army's seizure of power at a news conference on Tuesday, his first public speech since he announced Monday's takeover. Burhan accused politicians of incitement against the armed forces. He said Hamdok had not been harmed and had been brought to Burhan's own home. Soldiers arrested the prime minister and other members of his cabinet on Monday. And hours later, Burhan appeared on TV to announce the dissolution of the Sovereign Council, a body set up to share power between the military and civilians. The military takeover brought a halt to Sudan's transition to democracy, two years after a popular uprising toppled long-ruling autocrat Omar al-Bashir. An official at the health ministry said at least seven people had been killed in clashes between protesters and the security forces on Monday. Burhan said the military's actions did not amount to a coup, as the army had been trying to rectify the path of the political transition. Western countries have denounced the coup, called for the detained cabinet ministers to be freed and said they will cut off aid if the military does not restore power sharing with civilians.